As some of you may or may not know, Adobe in their latest update of Lightroom CC has now included batch editing, which is really great news even for novices such as myself. I've really enjoyed using Lightroom CC. I like the mobility of it and I haven't really missed any of the main features that aren't on it that are in Lightroom Classic. But last week I took over 2,000 photos at a runway show and realized that the batch edit was going to be really important. So I downloaded Lightroom Classroom Classic onto my computer and then realized that the Adobe update for Lightroom CC said that it included batch editing. So I immediately updated my Lightroom CC and went to find how to do that and I couldn't find it and I couldn't find it on their website any in their tutorials and I couldn't find it on YouTube or Google or anything so I did eventually find it it didn't take me long it probably won't take anyone else long either but in case you do a search of the internet first like I did to find out how to do it this is for you and it's really really easy so I just chose randomly one of my photographs from last week's shoot I'm just gonna apply a really quick auto edit to it so that it's obvious that um, the change is taking place when I paste it to my other photos. So just like with any other computer software, control C and control V are your cut and your paste. So at this point I could hit control C and copy me copy my edit settings or I can just go over to these three little dots over here and choose copy edit settings. So like I said I couldn't find how to do it. I couldn't find where I could do the paste and this is where um, I got hung up. And it's when you have to be in one of these grids as far as I can tell. I could be wrong but this is how I was able to do it. So you can choose the photo grid or the square grid. For the editing purposes I prefer the square grid. So now all I have to do is choose, I hold my control button down and with my mouse I just choose whatever photos I want to apply these same settings to and that is pretty much all there is to it once you hit control B. Then it just changed all those photos for me and to those new settings. So it's really easy and it's uh, a great addition and so happy editing. <laughs>